Uh, hello, my name is Jesse Chekla. This is Alice Kassar and Mikhail Rudinsky. Uh, and we created a Skittles mini factory uh, that sorts Skittles by their color and repackages them into individual sealable bags. Um, we have a uh, three shelf um, design here. Uh, and Alice will start by explaining our first shelf, the color sensing. Uh, so the first step in the design is to be able uh, to sort the skittles depending on their colors. We have an RGB LED which flashes white light, red, green, and blue. And then depending on the skittle color, we will have a number generated by the ADC converter. And then we will be able to detect, depending on the ratios, the color of the skittle that is being produced. So, so the ratios of the red and green and blue reflectants. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And for the red and the orange skittles, since the ratios are within the same range, uh, the white color will allow us to detect whether the color is red or orange. Okay. And the next layer? Uh, the next layer will be uh, as soon as we determine the color of the skittle, the second servo, uh, the position servo, will turn and will take a position exactly where it should be to, to sort the skittle in the proper bag. Okay, point at the at the. This shoot. is the, the, the servo, servo. Okay. and depending on the color, the skittle will go down into a bag. Uh, as soon as the servo takes the position, the solenoid will be released, and then the skittle will drop down onto this ramp and then go into the ceiling bags. Okay, and I see that the entire interior is uh, constructed of cardboard. Yes, that's And who, who is the cardboard architect? <laughs> uh, so that would be my title. Um, I think cardboard is a, a useful material. We had some trouble with uh, precision machining the cardboard, but, <laughs> but it seemed to work out. We have a lot of moving components and they all interact pretty well, so I think we're quite pleased with how it ended up. And the last step? The final and coolest step of this procedure is the heat sealing and cutting mechanism. Now, you may notice that once the bags are full of Skittles, they are located on a turning servo wheel. As soon as this wheel fills with Skittles, it will turn through this heating nichrome wire. Um, Point to the nichrome wire again? Right here. Got it. Heating nichrome wire that cuts and uh, seals each of the bags. Um, this design also has some uh, interesting peripherals. So because of the power consumption, we actually have to have a not only our own power supply, but also a capacitive discharge circuit not to overload the power supply. Cool. All right, so can we see it operate? Sure. Yes. Uh, before, before we do that, <laughs> we have some like words of caution. We have a, a lot of uh, high voltage electricity and some high heat wire, so we ask that everyone stand back. Uh, and also, you may see me poking and prodding uh, throughout. I'm like a factory worker in this case. Uh, I've been trained, so uh, no one. Uh, I'm not in any danger. Uh, that's just a, a forewarning. Okay. All right. So I think, I think we're ready. Okay. So yeah, Mikhail's gonna load. Um, Ten skittles, two of each color, uh, and uh, we're gonna and they go in the chute there. Yes, they go in the chute, and then they go down, and then they and then they end up uh, being analyzed by the light source, which is very coolly flashing in there. Yes. All right, so let's let's see what happens here. All right. <laughs> when you're ready, do you want to turn on? Yeah, you want to turn. Oh, the wiring. Mm -hmm. And adjust the system. Okay, so and you're I calibrating think the everything. The is not on yet. Um, no, it is. Is it? Because it's flashing LED, yes? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to start with a yellow. Green. Orange. Red. Green. Purple. Potential misfire situation. Yellow. <laughs> this is an instance of poking and prodding. Oh, I got trapped in the intake? <laughs> yes. That's a factor of the uh, cardboard machining. <laughs> Orange. Okay, now it will start seeding. So. so, as the heat wire um, 
we give the heat wire some time to heat up. Oh, I and see it's glowing red. Timing. Now it's stepping over. So this is the job for the factory worker to uh, pull the bags off the assembly line. Oh, I see, yes. I can see why you might have had some singed skills before. Yes. So there's some minor danger involved in this process. Because that's a rather hot wire right there. Yeah. And this is a... Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's where we singe the We just skills. wanted to give one example of things gone wrong. Of a misfire. Okay. So, uh, we'll shut our heat down now. And uh, the wheel should stop spinning eventually. All right. So uh, you can see uh, here's sort of the, uh, the output, I guess. Okay, so... There we have the bagged purples and the, the bagged reds. They're, um, the heat seal is not 100%. But it's uh, pretty good on pretty for the good red one. There. On this one, this one's a little less than ideal. It's got a little less than, little ideal. Less than ideal. Okay. But uh, it works to an extent. Um, you saw we had one uh, color go in the wrong bag. Um, that wasn't a color sensing problem. That was the Skittle got stuck in the ramp and didn't enter the bag. And so then when another Skittle came down, it, it pushed it, it in. into uh -huh. the bag. So. Our color sensing, uh, it was again a like, sort of cardboard fault. Very impressive. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah.